lawyers as we speak right now are going are, are looking at that executive order and helping us draft an order that will be appropriate but my intention is to require the wearing of masks on city-owned properties indoors for everybody's safety the way i interpret the governor's executive order we're at a point now where we are no longer going to have the the mandate of the state behind us to impel people to wear masks indoors anywhere in Texas. So that is going to leave the private sector, i.e. the business community, and those of us in local government, to the extent that the executive order allows it, to require people to wear masks until we get to the point where it's actually safe not to do so. I've not seen any information, any, that suggests we're at a point with vaccination rates to where we should be lifting any mask orders. But that happened above my pay grade, so I have to do what I can do at my pay grade. My pay grade says we think that I can mandate it at city facilities. I, I want to see the private sector and local government do everything they can to step up to fill that gap that's been created by the removal of the state order. Enforcement is something that our city attorney will have to tell us um, is possible and how. Because the way our emergency um, laws work, essentially an order of mine takes on the effect of a city ordinance. It takes on the power of a city ordinance in an emergency. So we'll have to look and see what all that means. But um, that is my intention. And that's, that's the fullest answer I can give you at this point while the attorneys are looking into it.